that 2014 January, I was listening to Alex Jones. I didn't know Shills existed. This fucking piece of shit. He would say things that are false, and I thought, well, maybe he's just saying something that's false. He he means well. But somebody had a video about uh, Bill Cooper, who was actually murdered, and he was calling out uh, Alex Jones, and Alex Jones had Bill Cooper on his show. They had a good conversation. Then later, Alex Jones says, oh, Bill Cooper was drunk. He was cussing, blah, blah, blah. Beyond that, uh, Alex Jones's Y2K rant, that I, it lasted for a long time. Bill Cooper was like, this person is not legitimate. Listen to what he's saying. He's instilling fear in all these people based on nothing. Apparently, Patriots ran for the fucking hills over this. And listening to Alex Jones and his crap, I was like, this guy is not genuine. He is detrimental to what we're trying to do. He's doing it on purpose, obviously. So that was the first time the idea of a shill entered my mind. Like, not only are these people doing all their outrageous shit, they got low people like Alex Jones, and he, he, he's huge. With his info wars, it's like a safe, safety net. When you have the truth movement, you need a safety net where whistleblowers can come to you, the regular people will come to you, you can have the whistleblowers on and make them look like idiots and act like a nut job, and then people will just, you, you'll become a joke. Alex Jones is a punchline to people. To, they don't know what's going on. And he's, he's still doing his thing. It wasn't a tent, it was this magnificent thing. 